Coral reefs are an amazing staple to diverse and complex ecosystems and sustain over 25% of all marine life. However, the same reefs which support so much in the ocean are also incredibly vulnerable to climate change and are facing extreme danger. As one of the world's largest carbon sinks, the ocean sucks up a massive portion of the influx of carbon dioxide associated with climate change. All of this excess CO2 throws our ocean off balance, quickly and drastically warming its waters and increasing its acidity. These climate change byproducts have caused many of the world's integral coral reefs to bleach. As our ocean warms at a rate faster than anyone expected, coral reefs are facing an absolutely massive threat, which puts the many organisms which depend on them at great risk. In the face of mass bleaching and other human-induced stressors, researchers and scientists alike have been working on ways to both increase coral reef growth and study coral reef environments without disrupting them, such as artificial reef construction. In fact, 3D printing holds many advantages in creating precise replicas of species and habitats due to its ease of use, relatively low cost, and accessibility. Scientists can use 3D printing to study organism behavior, which may be too challenging or disruptive to examine in the field, and they can create innovative management strategies that can help protect delicate and threatened coral reef ecosystems. However, before the use of 3D models in the field, scientists need to determine whether or not these artificial constructions are harmful to the coral they aim to support or stress the marine organisms that they intend to study. In order to explore whether 3D printing should continue to be a viable method of artificial reef construction, Rule and Dixon 2019 tested how reef organisms reacted to both 3D printed and natural coral skeletons. Many fish species, like damselfish, have a symbiotic relationship with coral species. Additionally, coral spats, or settled groups of coral spawn, need substrate to attach to. Rule and Dixon created 3D printed settlement tiles to mimic textured substrate and picked two species of coral skeleton to use in both printed and natural form, one with long, wide-set branches and the other with a more bushy-like appearance. According to these coral species environments, the researchers then acquired 60 blue-green reef fish called chromis and 42 spawning colonies of Caribbean mustard hill coral to see how each would react to the natural and 3D printed coral skeletons respectively. The researchers tested the blue-green chromis's behavior by placing them in tanks with four 3D printed coral skeletons differentiated by their material and one natural coral skeleton, all representing the two species. By including five total skeletons, Rule and Dixon could determine if the artificial skeletons created an environmental stressor. They then monitored the chromis to detect whether they would maintain typical reef behavior, such as the ability to seek refuge within the protection of the skeleton. The blue-green chromis showed no significant preference between the two different species, which indicated that the damselfish did not make any choices based on the appearance or structure of the corals. Additionally, the blue-green chromis showed no significant preference between the natural or the 3D printed coral skeletons, exhibiting no behavior that the scientists could classify as different from their behavior with natural coral skeletons. Unaffected activity level behavior and preferences suggested that the artificial coral skeletons did not negatively affect the reef fish and that the use of 3D printed coral skeleton can be comparably useful and relatively low risk in field research. Next, Rule and Dixon used printed textured substrate tiles to see how Caribbean mustard hill coral spawn would settle. They found that 3D printed tiles had significantly higher settlement than no tiles or substrate which suggested to them that these tiles were successful in mimicking the natural substrate the coral has shown to prefer and might be similarly productive in the field. There is one limitation to consider regarding the differences between lab-based research and field-based research. Rule and Dixon explained that scientists should expect higher mortality rates from field research as compared to their lab experiments. 
Organisms like the studied newly settled coral are extremely vulnerable to predation and other environmental and anthropogenic stressors. Nonetheless, Ruhl and Dixon indicate that 3D printing is a relatively low risk tool for artificial reef construction that will aid scientists in studying complex coral reef ecosystems and help rebuild damaged reef systems. This technique will help scientists continue to understand fragile coral reef environments and work towards protecting and managing them under the various threats they face. This post was originally made on September 5, 2019 by Rishya Narayanan. It was titled, 3D Printing Can Help Coral Environments, Here's How, and featured a paper by Rule and Dixon 2019 titled, 3D Printed Objects Do Not Impact the Behavior of a Coral-Associated Damselfish or Survival of a Settling Stony Coral. This has been Ocean Bites Out Loud. Check out oceanbites.org for this post and other new posts. Thanks for listening.